Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back. Kellen here with Droid Life. And we're about to whip through a whole bunch of tips and tricks for the LG G3. And we wanted to start with the navigation button setup. So just like the G2, it's got on-screen navigation buttons, though you have a traditional layout on the G3 this time around with back, home, and multitasking. Uh, but the cool thing is G LG allows you to uh, change these up, rearrange them, add new buttons, and sort of and that sort of thing. So we wanted to show you if you jump into settings display and this home touch buttons option, you can uh, adjust all sorts of stuff. The most notable thing would be the button combination. So again, it's got these sort of traditional layout, but you can actually adjust this. You know, if you want the home button further on the right, uh, you can slide this around and it actually adjusts it on the fly down below. So you can see if you like it and actually test it. You can also add new buttons. Like this one is a notification pull down. So the screen on this device is obviously large. If you want to use it one handed, it might be easier to grab the notification shade by just tapping a button and you can also raise it as well. So that might be a button actually to consider. You can also add up to five buttons. Here's a shortcut for quick memo. So it'll, you've tapped that, it'll take a quick screenshot of whatever you're doing, and then you can draw on it. Actually kind of useful. It's also a button for Q slide. So if you tap up Q slide, it'll pop up all of those apps if you want to take advantage of those. And there's even one for dual window. So dual window will launch right into your double app action if you want with the tap of a button. Uh, and again, you can add up to five. I will keep mine standard three though, since you can actually access all of those things or most of them anyway, uh, with long presses and such. You can also change the color. So I have the standard white. It's also a white gradient, uh, traditional black, and then a black sort of gradient. I'm a fan of the white, so we'll switch that back. Uh, there's a box here for a transparent background. And essentially that means when you're at home, as you can see here, I've got a white bar showing behind my buttons, but when you go home, that actually goes to transparent so you can see all the way through to your wallpaper and things like that. And finally, there is a option for hide home buttons. So what that means is when you're in specific apps, you can tell the navigation buttons to disappear unless you want them with a swipe. So essentially when you load up an app and you've checked the box there, uh, the navigation buttons will disappear and then you can access those with a swipe. So if we go into an app like Flickster, which I just checked the box for, you'll see the navigation buttons hide and you sort of get this more full screen like experience. You can swipe around it and the navigation buttons aren't in your way. And then if you want them, you just kind of swipe from the bottom, sort of by the LG logo up onto the screen and then those will appear. And so you can hide those, show those at any time. And uh, after a couple seconds there, they will hide again. And then you can swipe up and they're back and they fully work. So, uh, yeah, that is just a quick tutorial on how to edit the home screen button sort of setup. Uh, also wanted to show you though that if you long press on back, that's how you can launch into dual window, which is why I suggested you didn't actually need to add the button. You can long, long press on multitasking and that's sort of like a menu button. So if you're ever in an app that doesn't have a menu or overflow button, you can actually long press to get to that. And then of course the home button, you can swipe up to Google cool Now, Voice Mate, or even over to Quick Memo. So Again, you don't necessarily need those extra shortcuts down there since you can kind of access it from here anyway. Uh, but we're Droid Life. Peace.